Hey, welcome back to my channel, Vintage Adventure. I'm Brenda, and I've got another haul for you today. This is my weekly haul, just stopping here and there. Not really out sourcing, but it just kind of shows up. Garage sale pops up, I turn, I go, and I find stuff. But this week, I went on Wednesday with my friend Jackie, mentioned her before, up to the New Richmond Flea Market, and then we stopped at the New Richmond Goodwill and when we came back, the Hudson Goodwill. And then I hit a couple of garage sales on my lunch hour at work yesterday, Thursday. So um, let's just get right into it. Thursday, I stopped at all oh, three or four garage sales in the Twin Cities near my work. You just have to get out and stretch your legs. And the first thing I found was at a sale that's by one of my coworkers houses and we always kind of joke about it because they have we think it's like Amazon returns and open packages but I did find a really interesting piece there and I paid a dollar for this it's by Lee Carter it's a turned bowl made of aspen wood in 1995 and Dr. Lee Carter I found out is the founder of the Rocky Mountain Wood Turning Institute or something, which teaches people how to turn wood products. And this one appears to have a, a turquoise inlay. It's just gorgeous. I had to pick it up. I didn't know anything about it at the time, but just a really cool piece. I cannot find any comps. I found a lot of information online about the Rocky Mountain Wood Turning Institute. So I'm just happy to have this little piece. It's really cool. And I'm hoping this is turquoise, but we will see. Um, next, another sale. I picked up a couple of things. <clears throat> just a pair of vintage Taiwan um, OptiRay sunglasses. I really don't even know who made these. I don't think they're... Um, made by Ray-Ban, because if you can find Ray-Bans like this, they are worth quite a bit of money if they're vintage. But I've sold it several pairs, even crappy ones that are just all damaged have sold. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's worth checking out. So um, these are vintage Ray-Ban lookalikes made by Opti-Ray, or Wayfarer, I think is the name of the sunglass design. I just sold a pair of Bole earrings, or earrings, sunglasses, this week for $35. They went to Australia. These look to be kids' sport glasses. Um, it's a good brand. It comes came with its original um, foam case and the little um, cleaner case. So that's a good find. I thought that was pretty funny that I just sold a pair and found another. <clears throat> Excuse me again. It's morning, so I'm really congested. These are SunCloud. Um, these are an adult size. I have sold, if these are in the Aviator style from the 70s, they're worth a lot of money. I think the last pair I sold was over $100. But um, these are SunCloud, just 80s wraparounds. Not sure what they'll get, but they are in their original case, and they were previously owned by someone named Tanner. And then the final thing at that second garage that I went to on Thursday was this um, Bath and Body Works cologne. And this is a retired um, fragrance. I learned from Shell Bell. I think that's an internet channel, this gal. Not sure where she's from, but she kind of tuned me into um, retired fragrances and how um, people are sought after. My favorite fragrance is by Yves Rocher, and it's it was called Bamboo, but they quit making all the products associated with that, and I could buy the perfume now for a hundred and some bucks on eBay, but I still have a little bit, so um, I'm keeping it, but I don't know what this is worth, but I did find out online that it is retired. Looks like it's been used a little bit. Again, you have to say new in box when you sell it. It's such a cute little perfume bottle. Really cute. So I'm not sure what, I like the fragrance too, so whether I sell it or not, I'm not sure. I shouldn't say that because it sounds like I'm a hoarder, which I'm sort of becoming now. Must focus. 
This piece, Jackie and I found at the Goodwill. I still have to get the sticker residue off. I thought maybe this was a caduceus, the medical snake winged symbol. But this is a Tibetan chime bowl. Um, <clears throat> there should be a wooden mallet and a little um, padded fabric thing to set it in. I just think it's cool. It's beautiful. I'm not sure. May be keeping that or maybe giving, gifting it to a drummer friend. I don't know. But that was Goodwill. I think it was $3.99. I got it for 25% off of Senior Day. Um, the next Goodwill find is this little um, Satsuma Moriaji lamp base. I didn't know what it was. I just liked it, and I had sold some, a lot of the Satsuma wear earlier in the year. So I picked this up. It was $3.99, less 25%. Didn't really know if it was a vase or what went in there, but turns out a lamp um, fixture. There's a couple on eBay listed. Um, my friend Jackie that I was with learned how to rewire lamps over COVID. <laughs> so um, I'm going to enlist her help. And maybe we'll videotape it um, in getting a little fixture to put in here. But I just thought it was super cool. And along the same line, earlier in the week, I think Tuesday, I stopped at the little thrift store near my work. And I picked up this for 50 cents. It's made out of paper. And actually, it's, I forget what it is, but I found it on eBay. I'll insert a picture. Um, of the comps on eBay, but it's just amazing. It's got a little, I don't know if it's a plastic horse, and little clay figures in the back. Um, of course, I cannot remember one, what I had for breakfast today, so um, I will find that comp and put it up, but I just thought it was kind of funny that I found two items with sort of a carnivalesque theme. <clears throat> but it is paper. Thankfully, it's in really good shape. I don't think it's missing any pieces. And it appears to have some of the ones on eBay had the figures or the feathers missing. So this one's good to go, I think. Let's see. Next up, Jackie found this item at the Goodwill on Wednesday. And she didn't want it. So I said, yeah, I'll take it. It's uh, the Art Crafters Custer, South Dakota in the Black Hills. It's, so it's kind of a vintage tourist piece but it's made out of um, native rocks from the Black Hills. And then this is a cast metal buffalo. I did find a bookend um, with this material made by the same company on um, Worth Point, but of course I don't have a membership, so I don't know what it went for. But um, I need to do a little bit more research on this. I just think it's super cool. I think it could be a keeper, but you, there's like some kind of natural rocks in there. See how that glows? Let's see if anything else glows on here. Nothing else really glows, but we'll have to figure out. There's a whole, there's a website online that talks about this company and um, what it made some of these early tourist pieces out of. So that's kind of cool. Um, Wednesday, we were at that flea market, bought this little brass owl on marble for 25 cents. Just adorable. I think it might be a paperweight. Um, just cute. You can't beat it for a quarter, so you can share it with somebody for under 10 bucks easily. And then um, also got this John Perry sculpture. I think I got this at the flea market. I have one of these listed. It hasn't sold. It's a long tail item. But I don't know. Again, the hoarding tendencies. I'm going to have to do something about it. But I will be putting this on eBay. Maybe I'll put it with the other one. That might make it a little more attractive for two items. Another flea market find is they're kind of getting hip to the stained glass. I bought, have bought a lot of ornaments up there. And I've sold quite a few. I usually try to sell them for $9.99. This one I paid up for, but I really liked it because it's a sunset. And I may hang it over here. <clears throat> I've got one up here. So I might hang it. And I've got a little wind chime my friend gave me in the center. We've still got some Christmas lights up. 
and I may hang this piece over there. I just sold a cactus, I think, and some hummingbirds. I think I showed those hummingbirds a few weeks ago. Those sold already. Another piece from that flea market is this little brass Christmas item. This is so cute. It's reindeer in the sleigh. Oh, I just think it's adorable. I paid 50 cents for it. This is going to look so nice in somebody's vintage Christmas display. It's just beautiful. I don't see any marks on it. So, um, it's just so cute. Love this. Love this brass piece. Ooh, some funky thing fell out of it. Um, <clears throat> another piece of Satsuma is this Dragonware mini cup and saucer. Again, these were all at the flea too. They had a whole bunch of them and they were a dollar a piece. So I picked up, um, I've sold a couple cups and saucers. I have a couple listed. Again, why? I don't know. It's just, this is really cool, this little dragon. With the little saucer, just beautiful. And I paid a dollar for it. So hopefully that will, can be flipped for 10, $15. Here's a hand painted Japan one. This one is very unique with the um, hexagonal. One, two, three, yep. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful painting lotus flower maybe or something the gold is in pretty good shape very dainty i don't think it's been broken or repaired it's got the little feet on the bottom and then the final one is <clears throat> moyen wr midwinton burslem england no wrm something winter but I wouldn't have picked this up except that I really like the design on it all these kind of egrets or something on it really cool I th and the dragonfly I don't know this one spoke to me so I picked it up maybe this will be I think I watched the nurse flipper one time on teacups and she had found or was showing off some that were worth you know buco bucks i doubt these are but what the heck we'll have to research it and let's see another piece from the flea in richmond hello <clears throat> wearing a stained t-shirt um let's see oh that's is this little set and i don't even know what it's for i guess it's just cooking dishes for your um Dresser, this has got just some beautiful little florals on it. It's Denmark porcelain from Denmark. And really good shape. Beautiful little flowers. They're all different. Actually, this one, I guess they are all different. This was the at the Goodwill. I think I paid five bucks for this. Yeah, minus 25%. And then that, I'm not even sure what these flowers are. I should know, but I don't. Really beautiful. Little porcelain, cream colored porcelain. Hand painted, Denmark, from Denmark. That's gonna be really pretty on someone's bathroom counter or dresser. Back to the thrift store. I bought this fused glass um, bowl. Really pretty. I can't find anything about it. It's got the adventuring in it. It's got a dragonfly that's luminescent. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. But just a beautiful bowl. No signature that I can find. I paid three bucks for it. Um, I hope it's signed because it's really beautiful. That was another one. I'm going to put this in here from the thrift store on Tuesday. <clears throat> this piece I really liked. Found this at the Hudson Goodwill and then found these. Um, I really like this. I thought it was California pottery. It's unmarked. It's in excellent shape. 
I bought it at discount, so you know, maybe four bucks or three seventy-five or whatever. Um, really pretty. And then I found these two left boots um, nearby. So I bought them all. I thought actually it was a set of boots, but they're both left boots. And this one is marked, oops, California, C-A-L-I-F, and then it has an S and it says 711 or 71TK. I don't know. There's all kinds of different um, incisions in here, but California pottery. So really, really like this. I like this color. My, I've got this accent walls, this color in my kitchen. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep any of this stuff. I'm going to probably sell it all. So um, one of the, whoops, before I break it. Then I got these brass, um, bookend holders with the note mark. They're cool. I haven't opened them up yet. I thought maybe they'd have a signature, but they do not. But very cool for anybody who's a music teacher or musician. It's the treble clef. No, this isn't the treble clef. This is this, I don't know. I'm not a musician, so. But I thought these were cool and a good price. And the final thing before we end this is a, <clears throat> I had just bought a Bomb Brothers vase. In fact, I showed that. It was kind of that bongo pattern. I think I listed it. I don't even know where it is. But I thought this was the same company. Um, but it's they were just using a box for this little treetop or angel. And... Um, it says plugs easily into any into any of the light bulb sockets on a miniature tree light string. So you must plug it into your lights, and then she she is lit. But she's got a bisque head and a little plastic cone so she can sit on top of the tree. But just adorable. And again, this was twenty five cents in the. Um, they always have this Christmas and holiday stuff in baskets in these boxes up at that flea market for 25 cents. And I always find cool things in those. And this, I happen to find this. She looks to be in good shape. She's not chipped or anything. Definitely get her up on eBay right away for Christmas. And I think that does it. I bought a little um, placemat for my kitchen that I'm using that I'll be using, and I think that was it. So no jewelry this time, um, but it was a good week. I mean, just for not intentionally really going out except for Wednesday, um, there's good shit to be had, or good stuff to be had, excuse my French. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going out this weekend or not, there is the Washington County Flea Market tomorrow. I may go to that, but that's probably it. So if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and check back weekly or hit the bell button so you're notified when I upload new content. I uploaded a video of the Minor Theater in Ladysmith, Wisconsin. It's their 75th anniversary. And we got invited out to go see Oppenheimer and check out the theater. And I made a little video. So that was the one right before this. So be sure to check that. But any, everyone have a great weekend. Drink water. Stay moving. And use cannabis as needed. Thank you. Bye-bye.